on guys, today we have the Milwaukee tape measure. All right guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome to the Rev Room. Today, another Milwaukee tool, the tape measure. This one in particular is 25 foot with the auto lock. They make probably 10 or 15 different variants of this tape measure, so if you're looking for this exact one after watching this video, make sure that it's the 25 foot with the auto lock. They make like the 15 and 18 foot. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. They make them without the locking feature. They make magnetic one. It goes on and on and on and on. But this particular one uh, is what we're going to talk about today. So the auto lock, just to dive right into that, pull it out and it auto locks. Press the button here on the top and it retracts. Super, super awesome and convenient. I know some people aren't into the auto lock. They rather just go out and come back in immediately. I like that because if I'm working on a desk or you know a, a work stand or something of that nature, um, I just pull it out. Okay, I need 30 inches, put it down on the table and I have my marking. I just pick it up and drop it wherever I need to go. And that's that. Um, I love the weight of it and I love this like textured grippy finish on it. Obviously it has the clip on it, put on your pants or your belt or whatever. The tape measure itself I believe is, uh, okay it's $18 for this particular model. I think I paid $15 for it on sale, one of the sales that are out. Um, again, with any tools, especially Milwaukee, you go to Home Depot or you know, pretty much any other brands, they're always doing promos. You can get like this with like a razor, uh, uh, fast back knife for like $22. So they, you know, for another $5 more, you get a $10 knife. Whatever. So they always make different combos and stuff that you could buy. Um, so you don't have to just go out and spend 18 or whatever on a tape measure. Try and find the bundle deals, get more tools for your money. One more thing with the uh, back part here, you can see you could like kind of like tie a little like lanyard here if you like to have it dangled. I don't do that. Um, again, pocket, you know, either on the belt loop or on the end of my tool bag or something of that nature. I'm not really using it. And uh, this claims you could do 12 feet uh, reach with it. So basically extending it out 12 feet, it'll hold on its own. Um, I get 10 foot easy, you know, 10 to 12 foot before it starts to like fall down, usually at the 12 foot mark, but that's again, you know, I'm testing it based off of like holding it like this. If you put your hand out, you can go 16 feet, you know, if you wanna give it the extra angle and all that stuff. I really don't ever find myself in a situation where, you know, I need to hold it outward in that direction more than 10 feet. Uh, if I'm just measuring a room really quick, you know, just, hold it out, okay, you know, close enough 10 foot, and then if I need to go back and get exact measurements, I could do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, laying it on the floor and just measuring across the floor is more than enough, especially if you're by yourself and you're going up into that 25 foot range. Um, so yeah, what are the uh, cons with this? Because there is cons. So um, to start, the tab I don't know what you guys call this if it has a specific name or not but you can see it has a lot of play in it which I hate it drives me crazy um, anyone that measures anything for a living knows you never measure from the lip of this don't ever rely on putting this on the edge of a board and measuring especially if you need something exact um, you know, I'll show you like just here probably losing there's like an eighth of an inch gap from where this part fully pulls out and the actual tape measure itself so anyone that measures regularly uh, will start at like the one inch mark will be your end line or even the two inch because that's where the numbers start to get big uh, you can see like the little tiny one on the top there and then two so I will usually start from two and go outward just to get that better visualization on it. And that's basically it for the cons. I mean, I do like the numbers. They're big, it's convenient, it's easy to see. Um, 
you know, it has a little bit of a glare on it, but also has like a matte finish as well, which is very strange to even think about saying. When you're in a normal room with normal lighting, obviously I have spotlights on me. You're going to get a little bit of a glare on it, as you can see. But again, that's a high powered studio light. Uh, you don't typically get that as much outside or with regular normal lighting in your house. So yeah, that's basically all we have for the Milwaukee tape measure. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. Let me know what you guys use. I've upgraded from the Stanley brands and the Husky brand and got this. I'm happy with it. Um, if I lost it, would I go out and buy this one again? Maybe. Um, it's not that big of a deal. It's a tape measure for me anyway. Uh, I'm going with the cheapest option. This happened to be the cheapest option at the time. Again, it was on sale. So that's all we got. Take care.